Hey, my name is Happy. I help candidates in .NET interview preparation. After watching this video, you will be able to answer this question in any interview. If you want to cover all the .NET interview questions, then please click on like and subscribe buttons so that you cannot miss any important interview question. So let's start with this question. Here is the next question. Why to use dependency injection or what problem does dependency injection solve? In the previous question, we have seen the definition of dependency injection. In this question, we will see why we need it. And in next question, we will see how to implement dependency injection. I am not going to use the word inversion of control here because I think that will make it more difficult for a develop, beginner level developer to understand it. So let's start with an example why we need dependency injection. Suppose you are working in a project for an institution which provide coaching classes. So right now they are focusing on math classes only. And they want you to create an application for managing math class students, right? As a developer, you will create a class for math student like this. And then inside this, you will create a method get student count like this. Right now, for simplicity, uh, I hard coded this as 50. Now, the next step is to expose this method in the controller. Like this, as shown here, I named it as first controller for simplicity, but the name can be different in real application. In this control controller, you will simply create the object of math student class like this, and then you will call the method inside the math student class like this. So this is pretty straightforward and the traditional approach to do it. Now, after some months, your client or manager will ask you to replace this math student class with science student class, right? So then you will create this science student class like this. The method name inside the science student is same. Only this, the functionality of get a student count may be different right now it is returning 100 okay so this is the science student class now you have to replace math student with science student what you will do you will just replace this math student with science student and the problem is solved now this is okay for one controller and even this is okay for second controller so might be your application have more than one controller and in one, two, three controllers, you will replace all the math student with science student class and that is fine. But, but, but in a enterprise level applications, there will be many, many controllers which are also creating the object of the math student class. So like this, we can have hundreds of controllers which are uh, creating the object of math student class. So what you are going to do then you will replace at every place so much code changes and if you miss it even in a single controller out of this hundred controllers then uh, the testers will grab your caller I will say or I will say that you have to test each and every controller and that will be a testing headache and in tomorrow then if there will be a new class like uh, social studies class then again you have to do the same level of code changes again and again so that is the problem with the testing the testing impacts which will be uh, which will occur if you will use the object creation process like this the traditional approach so in order to solve this problem we have dependency injection in dependency injection, we need not to change the code of this controller for any of the 100 controllers. So it will remain same. So that we will do with the help of the dependency injection. And in other words, I can also say that uh, this will be then loosely coupled. Why loosely coupled? Because we are not, the controllers are not impacted by the changes in the math student or science student or uh, any general knowledge student classes by adding those classes the controllers are not impacted so that's why we need dependency injection 
now in the next question we will see how to implement dependency injection and how to avoid changing the code of the controller and do it in a minimal uh, way minimal with the minimal code changes how can we achieve this dependency injection that we will discuss in next question